Good morning, everybody. How are you doing this morning? It is 3.30 a.m. on the dot, and uh, the date, oh, actually, it's uh, May the 4th be with you. <laughs> it's May 4th today, 30 degrees. Um, there's a couple snowflakes coming down. There's not, I, I, I mean, there aren't really many clouds above us right now, but there's some snowflakes coming down, and this is what I do. As soon as we get any snowflakes, this is what I do. So this first little drive is gonna be a shorty, a shorten, a shorten. But yeah, we got a little bit of snow coming down. This is great. So we're gonna kind of drive over uh, through the village and then the other side of the village. Take the back streets to get there. Hope everyone's having a good night's sleep. I know you guys aren't going to see this, and then I'll be back out again for the heavier parts at six or seven in the morning. But once again, this is what I like to do. I'm very OCD about catching those first snowflakes. If you guys can tell, that we're getting any snow. I mean, it is extremely light, but there are a couple snowflakes coming down right now. this for you all thank you guys again for everything I'm telling you what man these comments never get old for you guys you guys are so supportive you guys are so good to me thank you I will always do the best I can for you guys Pennsylvania and this one we'll just stay straight on it it'll take us right into the village
closer we get to the dam, the better it will be. But literally, I've just been like staring out the window while watching TV. And then a couple of snowflakes came down and I'm like, oh my gosh! <laughs> I got up and ran out. Gave my wife a big kiss goodbye. Woke her up to give her a kiss goodbye. Big Bear would be Upper Moon Ridge. 
I'm just referring to the valley floor. Where is the snowiest part of the valley? And we are driving into it right now. I can never thank you guys enough for that. You guys make me feel so good inside. I really appreciate absolutely everything you guys do for me. You guys are amazing friends and family. Um, I'm very, very lucky to have you guys in my life. And I can promise you one thing, like I always do, I, I will never let you guys down. I will always do the very best that I can doing this for you all. And thank you. We want you to come visit Big Bear. Without you guys, as you hear me say over and over again, none of us get to live here without you guys. So. Please, come one, come all. Come up here, enjoy yourself, spend some money. It's a lot of fun up here. People like it. Oh, they really enjoy it. You can go skiing usually, but the, the resorts are closed now. I'm hoping we get enough snow so you can go sledding. Oh, I'm quite odd. I know, I'm a weird, weird person, yes. Oh, yes. Cheerio, Frosted Flake, all of the above. That would be entering the little Arctic Circle, leaving beautiful Big Bear Lake. But we're not leaving beautiful Big Bear Lake. We are just beginning to enter it. And now, we've got some snow. My friend Morgan Freeman is here. Hello, everybody. I enjoy this drive. 
I know my impressions are horrible. So I'll just stop. Oh, it's so incredible. It's so incredible. And don't forget, guys, may the 4th be with you. It is May the 4th. And let it be with you. This is a so yeah, you guys. Today marks. Uh, actually, today would be my eight-year and two-day anniversary. I thought yesterday was. No, this would be my eight year and three day, and eight years and three days I've lived in Big Bear. I took possession of my place on uh, May 1st, 2015. And man, I, I have been through so much up here already. I have grown so much as a person, as a man up here. You guys wanna hear something crazy? So, for those of you who don't know, I've been through nine different rehab centers for alcohol and drug use. And uh, June 23rd, I'm coming up on 10 years clean off of alcohol, my, my drug of choice. 10 years clean, and that's nine rehabs and 25 years plus in and out of the walls of Alcoholics Anonymous. But uh, in this 10 years, you guys, being clean off of my drug of choice, what's... The incredible has truly happened. Um, I, I became completely self, self-sufficient from the folks. They would help me out still once in a while. Um, they don't have anything. I, I've, been, I've been helping them out. I've been sending money back that, to them uh, for f over five years now. God bless them. But uh, in that 10 year period, you guys, so much, like all the best stuff in my life happened to me. I moved far away from my immediate family, which is, uh, I mean, that's not the best thing, but it helped me to grow. It helped me to become really, really in, in, uh, in, in, like independent to not have anyone to fall back on. And even if I had to fall back on someone, as I said, they don't have anything. So it would like, uh, they lost everything years ago. <clears throat> so not only did I get to move far away and start my own life without having to rely on the folks, but um, in that, in this 10 years, I also started my, my other business as well as um, the YouTube channel you guys are watching right now. I have another YouTube channel also. It's called Luxury Hotel and Resort Travel. And I've had that for maybe three or four years, but I don't really do any videos for it anymore. Once I can start staying at five-star hotels again, I will do that. But I was flying first class and I was recording the whole first class flight, the first class lounge, and then staying in five-star hotels and stuff like that and, and recording the whole experience. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, but also in the 10 year period, I got married and I, I, I have my own family now. It's just incredible what has happened since I've been sober, you guys. And any of you out there struggling, I really hope you understand that you can always contact me. I'm always here for you guys. I love you guys so much. You can always contact me and talk to me about what's going on. Because if I can share my experience, strength, and hope with you guys, and just help you guys out the best that I can, it's 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 what I want to do. I want to help people get through their alcoholism. Oh, I want to give you guys the best advice from my personal experience that I can. Because every single one of you, we 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 all deserve a good life, a good existence. Being a hostage to alcohol is definitely no fun, and it, it destroys everything, not just our own lives, but everyone around us who loves us. It's, we're, we're just a wrecking ball. 
we are a wrecking ball and so any of you need to talk or have have any questions about anything please don't don't hesitate to contact me I will always give you my all and always be there for you and once again through my experience strength and hope hopefully people can take from that something important and uh, and try to put your demons behind you for those of you who have been in Alcoholics Anonymous um, I'm what the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous considers the hopeless variety of alcoholic meaning that the, you know in there's just there's just no no chance for me hopeless right well I proved that wrong it did take nine rehabs though my last rehab was called the Hills Treatment Center I checked in June 23rd 2013 and that was off of Mulholland and Laurel Canyon in just the nicest part of the Hollywood Hills um, it was like this big mansion with a, a couple other beautiful homes on the property and um, everyone else there was really famous people I was literally the only non-famous person for instance for my my first couple weeks there my roommate was one of my favorite professional baseball players growing up um, yeah I know anonymity is the spiritual foundation of all of AA's traditions ever reminding us to place principles before personalities but yeah so uh, um, this isn't press radio or film I guess this could be considered film so I'll keep the names private but uh, yeah I've, there were some really famous people there you guys and as I said I was the only non-famous person pretty pretty crazy stuff but uh, yeah, the difference about that rehab center was why this one worked, I believe, was because it wasn't a sterile, ultra clean, ultra plain environment with hospital clothes and, 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 and just being in a hospital type of a setting. It wasn't a depressing setting. Um, the goal of the owner, Dr. Howard Samuels, was to manipulate us to want to check into this five-star resort type of a place literally five star you guys we had a Michelin uh, uh, starred chef who cooked all our meals for us um, literally a Michelin starred chef you guys um, we didn't have to do any chores all of our chores were, were done for us the house was at the top of Mulholland Drive and Laurel Canyon Drive we had a 360 degree view from from the mansion um, it, it was it was remarkable. We were going to lots of meetings in Beverly Hills and stuff like that. Um, yeah, being there just it just felt so good. There were pools, jacuzzis. It was really 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 nice. Um, it did not feel like a hospital or that type of setting. So I believe that that is why I was able to grasp the message this time. Because every rehab you go to, it's 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 the same message, but the difference was how it was delivered and the environment and I'll tell you what once again being in a five-star like Ritz Carlton type of a place and literally eating steak and lobster whenever I want and just 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 the most amazing food you guys it's the most incredible food um, it was easier to focus on my recovery instead of just so depressed that I'm in a hospital again and, and being in this totally just uh, I don't know, sanitary, just uh, just white walls and hallways and doctors and hospital machines making noise and just dark and, and dreary like one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Um, those other places were the eight other places that I had basically been to. This place was completely different. And as I said, I think that's why I was able to uh, finally get the message my way and the way that this place was trying to uh, to relay it to us and yeah as I said June 23rd it'll be 10 years since I've had one drink and I talk about this I've talked about this a lot on the channel you guys and since there are new, like new subscribers all the time it's really important for me 
even though this is a weather channel, to try and save as many people as I possibly can. Because if I can do it, I know you can. I know you can. I knew you can. I know you can. And I promise you, I promise you, I will always be here for you guys. Every, every second of every day, I'm always here for you guys. Don't ever hesitate. If you're suffering, please, if you, if you think that I might be able to help you out somehow, contact me. We're in this thing together, you guys. Life is not easy. So you know what? Whatever experiences we all have when we've been through tough times, sharing those experiences to help other people grow and to get through their current hardships, I, I think that's our main obligation in life is, you know, once we've gotten through something difficult is to share that with others suffering from the same afflictions. And I love you guys so dearly. I'm so proud to have you guys in my life. But yeah, guys, I've been through the absolute ringer, you know. In these nine rehabs, I've spent almost five years locked, in, locked inside of them. One of the rehabs, I was 16. I was there for a year in Utah. The uh, one prior to that, I was in Colorado for two years from the age of uh, 14 and 15. It, it wasn't necessarily a rehab, but it was a boarding school that focused on stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, it's just been an ongoing struggle for me. But as I said, I was able to, to conquer it because the message was delivered in a way that I finally got it. But I still have to be careful every single day. I have to take one day at a time because alcohol is always sitting right there on every corner, every single block, just waiting for me, just waiting for me to come back and start taking sips. And I'll tell you what, every relapse that I've had over all those years, I was literally worse within a week. Every single time I would relapse, I was worse than I was prior to going to that previous rehab. Alcohol is a very, very progressive illness. It does not get any better if you, if you continue and you stop and relapse and stop and relapse. It gets worse and worse and you get to that devastating point much faster every time. So. I don't know why I got so lucky to, to not pass away and to never be in a bad car accident from alcohol or any DUIs or, or any jail time or, or anything like that. I've been very, very, very fortunate. And again, I know this is a weather channel, but it is my obligation to make sure that I can share these experiences with you guys because I do love you guys. If I didn't care about you guys, I, I, would, I would never talk about this stuff but but keep in mind this channel is about yeah about weather and stuff but um, I don't do this channel to try and make money I don't I don't sell out to try to um, make videos that people are gonna want to watch to make money it's 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 all about what I want to do and that'll never change on this channel it, it's, it's very authentic those of you who are, are fairly new, only about five months ago, maybe six months now, was the first time I ever asked for a like or a subscribe, ever, on this channel. And at that point, I had been doing this seven and a half years, and I had 3,000 videos out. And not once did I ever ask you guys to like and subscribe. Because, you know what, it's, it's I love doing this, and I just never wanted it to become a job, and I never wanted to feel obligated to have to do certain things and uh, the only reason I started asking you guys to like and subscribe was because I got married and my my beautiful bride she has been through the hardest things life has to offer you guys like literally the most intense hardships that you could possibly fathom I don't know how that woman is still standing but I admire her so much and I respect her so much and uh she deserves me to do everything I can to try to provide the best life possible. And yeah, YouTube doesn't really do much. 
like financially however who knows what can happen 10 years down the road so that's why I'm trying to put myself in a good position but I'll never change who I am you guys I'll always be the same old Nick always looking out for you guys but yeah please please if you guys are, are struggling or suffering please contact me I want to be there for you I want to help you out because I do love you we have a community of incredible people incredibly loving people so never feel embarrassed about contacting me nothing it's it, it would behoove you to contact me and uh, I will give you my all and I'll be completely honest with you about it every, every you know everything you, you want to know and everything that you need to know it's not gonna be easy guys that transition from uh, full-on addiction to loving yourself again but I promise you what all of you are so worth so worth loving and I love each and every single one of you a ton so anyway appreciate you guys listening once you, so back to, to the weather we have potentially about up to two inches of snow which will fall by the end of this storm and that should be over close to noon today but I will definitely keep you guys posted. I'll be doing another video in a few hours. But until then, I will talk to you guys later. If you enjoy what I'm doing for y'all, please do me a huge favor and like and subscribe. And if you have any advice for me, please do not hesitate to let me know. I really want to do the best that I can for you guys. And uh, any suggestions are, are always welcome. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm thinking my taillight's okay because that cop just passed us and he was right behind us and he didn't pull us over. So as long as there's some taillight back there, I think I'm okay. But yeah, if you guys do enjoy what I do, please, please, please hook me up. Hit the like and subscribe button. We work, I work really hard for this. My wife helps me out big time and I just want to do, hey, take it easy there. Yeah. Thank you guys. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to your comments and I'm looking forward to hitting the biggest part of the storm in a couple hours. Until next time, you guys, I'll see you in a few hours. I love you very much and may the fourth be with you.